Starting things out with Denise. Hey, Jeff, I'm beginning my CPA exam preparation. How many weeks should I plan for each test? So I actually get this question a lot and I answer it in ranges. So FAR and regulation, I would take, um, I think seven weeks is the sweet spot, but between six and eight weeks, never more than eight weeks. And for, for auditing and um, BEC, eh, five-ish weeks. For ninjas, we have the four week and the seven week ninja study planner. And so four weeks, if you're like under the gun cramming and seven weeks, well, seven weeks is, is perfect for regulation and, be, and FAR and um, auditing and BEC, seven weeks is, is more than enough. So um, again, never more than eight weeks for any exam ever, ever, ever. If you have someone, some expert out there telling you to study more than eight weeks, they're 100% wrong. You can, <laughs> you can have me email me and I'll explain why, but I'll tell you why. Uh, when you're sent for the CPA exam, you're not, be, you're not going to become an expert on CPA exam topics. You are, you are studying the information to become competent enough to score a 75 on your respective CPA exam section. And what does passing the CPA exam mean? It means that, um, so you pass the exam, get your initial license. It means that you meet the minimum requirements to, to protect the, the public interest. It doesn't mean that you're an expert. Um, you can then go on and become an expert in estate tax or, or auditing or governmental accounting, et cetera. But, um, you're not going, you're not going to become an expert on the content anyway. And the more, the more time that you spend beyond eight weeks, you get diminishing returns on your time. I get emails, Jeff, I passed, or I studied for three months and I scored a 63 this time last, which is 10 points lower than last time. And i you know, I think I'm stupid. Well, you're not stupid. You just, you studied for too long because, um, the further and further that you get away from week one, week two, week three, the less and less you are going to remember that information. And so um, that's why you want to cram all the info into your head, roll into a Prometric, barf it out, <laughs> and then leave. And you know, if you if your desire is to open up your own CPA firm, do tax prep and do a state plan a state tax planning um you're you're likely never going to touch governmental auditing or government governmental accounting again unless you like take on um some client um you know that has their books according to gasby now if you do take on that client then you have to be obviously competent so then you'll have to become an, pretty much an expert and governmental accounting. So you go back and study it. But for purposes of the CPA exam, um, you just need you need to know enough about governmental accounting to be dangerous to go in there and barf it out on, on exam day. So that's how many weeks you should spend on your CPA exam preparation.